Hey, what's going on, my friends? It's me, it's Ken, and we are now at the table of Jeff Brennan. This is Cosmic Con. It's the first one, I think, and we're here in Queens on the Lunar New Year. So, Jeff, what's up? How are you, man? You mentioned that it's not actually my first con. I did like a No, no, I said this is the first Cosmic Con. Oh, Cosmic Con, yes. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm, uh, I'm here promoting my, my comic book. It's uh, Cyber Girl Lita, and this was actually on um, Big Bang Theory. That's interesting. <laughs> and then, uh, that helped the sales, and it's actually now available on Amazon, as well as on CyberGirlLita.com. Sweet. Now, what's Lita about? It's basically like, she's kind of a female Jason Bourne. She wakes up and she's in this robot body and she doesn't know why she is, but everybody's trying to kill her and she's got all these powers. And as it goes through the story, you find out a lot of like, I don't want to give any too many spoilers, but like you find out a lot of like, she's not the only one, there's another one that's like her and then she, she's looking for her family and a lot of things happen throughout the course of the story. Sweet. It's kind of like a, a society where technology is, is almost outlawed. Only the very rich have it. So now you participated in this Bart in this Bart Simpson book. Uh, that's correct. I was a penciler on a couple pages in that. And what is Liberty Girl? That was something I did for a company called uh, Heroic Publishing. Um, it's basically I, I'm not the writer on that, so I don't know a lot about the story. But it's a, a female superhero, you know, basically like a uh, female Captain America, I suppose. Sweet. So now, how did how did you get involved with Big Bang Theory? That's that's a funny story. My mom was a big fan of the show, so she sent my artwork to the set designer and said, "You should have my son do art for your show." And believe it or not, they did. <laughs> that's really great. Yeah, yeah. That's it's, really uh, great. At the time she did, I was mad. I'm like, "What are you doing? You're wasting my you know." I gave those to you, and you know they're just gonna throw them in the garbage, and then they ended up. Using it. I did it from season eight to season twelve. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah. Now. Courage the Cowardly Dog, get involved with that? Yes, that one, I got my first job on that because my roommate's girlfriend was working on it. And I, I got work on the uh, pilot episode, The Chicken from Outer Space. So then a couple years later, they made it into a series and they asked if I would like to work on the series too. Wow, that's cool. And you see these are Funko Pops, my friends, the most addictive of collectibles, I think. They sell pretty well. Yeah, that's good, that's good, nice stuff. Jeff, so nice to meet you. Brief and to the point. Appreciate you. Thanks for stopping for a couple of minutes. I hope you have a great rest of the convention. All right, my friends, that's going to bring me to the end of this video. So it's Ken, Piercing Metal. Click the subscribe, click the notification bell, and like and leave a comment on the video, and buy some of Jeff's stuff. We will have links to his comics at the end of the uh, copy. Oh, All right, they're available on Amazon, time. too. And Amazon. Yeah. See you next time, friends.